it, it was just this blitz of embarrassment. I felt completely humiliated, but no, no, worse than that, I, I was traumatized. Anne-Marie Shirini and Holly Jacobs found themselves in the same situation. Jacobs' ex-boyfriend posted nude photos of her online, along with her name, employer, and PhD program. Shirini's ex tried to sell a DVD of her explicit photos on eBay. The photos also appeared on xhamster.com under a fake profile. Both sites quickly deleted the material, but before it could be removed, more than 4,000 people had seen her naked photos. What was going to happen next? And that was the fear. Um, I was afraid to leave my home. The practice known as revenge porn has flourished on the largely unregulated internet. Under federal law, site owners aren't responsible for content they don't create, and the people who post it are largely immune. Jacobs went to police in Florida. Officers even approached her ex, linking his home computer to some of the postings. And his response, much like every defendant's response, was, oh, I got hacked, it's not me. Law professor Daniel Citron is an expert on internet privacy. She's helping Maryland draft a bill to ban non-consensual posting of material. But groups like the American Civil Liberties Union say that goes too far. It can't simply be that any time we do something without another human being's consent, that that becomes an issue for the criminal law, uh, and particularly when First Amendment freedoms are at stake. How does this qualify as free speech? How is this advancing our society? The ACLU says victims should sue their perpetrators, but Citrin says that's expensive and not the answer. Another problem, Citrin says, Police often don't even know a crime is being committed in states that have laws against revenge porn. You go to law enforcement, you tell them what's going on, absolutely educate them about the law. After that, Shirini says, don't be ashamed. As victims, we have to push through that, and we have to move past that and stand up and say, I did nothing wrong. She now works with Holly Jacobs' Cyber Civil Rights Initiative and her site endrevengeporn.org to help other victims fight back. Noel Waghorn, The Associated Press.